hasn't yet arrived in institution, but for example, in Barcelona and Como, the executive power is in the hands of eight people and the coordination group in the hands of 40. In both bodies, there is a minimum of 50% of women. And the political project, uh, so that people can identify with it, must refer to some common we. On national level, this we usually becomes, although not defined, the nation. This in itself becomes problematic because of patriarchal roots of this concept. In fact, in times when we see the strengthening the authoritarian rights, we must build alternative identities, strong, inclusive, which promotes a sense of security in times of uncertainty. Municipalism, of course, isn't the ultimate end in itself, but a strategy for the effective introduction of gender equality, the protection of pluralism and democratization, uh, it uh, doesn't undermine the need to work at national or trans, uh, transnational level in achieving those goals. On the contrary, cities exert pressure on central government to accept refugees or expand local autonomy through remunicipalization of basic public services. Cooperation within a city network is, however, the best way to start working on other levels. Democracy has to be built on solid foundation, immersed in local context. Only on the basis of grassroots activities, we can, by changing the way we act daily, feminize politics. Whoever wants to build a house starting from the roof will end without house, without neighborhood, without people. Without them, a public change isn't possible. Thank you very much. present you a few minutes of our film. Uh, it uh, uh, was produced by my team, by uh, my two PhD students, and we use it in our um, everyday activity in urban uh, movements. It's on the track. <laughs> I think this is very important, but what I wanted to ask is it must be, given the party that you have now in power and given what's happened in Poland, is there some sense of, I mean, is it, can you, can you share with us whether it's um, you know, even more significant or whether you're having to fight harder or how, how, do, you, how do you deal with a, a situation where you have a government which is 
it's extremely patriarchal, very um, uh, conservative, um, very male orientated, very backward looking. Uh -huh. How does this affect uh, so the, the work that you've been engaged so in? Oh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It will be optimistic element and then uh, okay. Okay. some less. <laughs> some examples. So under the pressure of uh, uh, urban movement, now uh, we uh, brought the silence uh, around uh, huge uh, corruption affair um, connected with uh, privatization of main city. Uh, so you, probably you know the attitudes of our uh, government towards refugee. But on the local level, I am a founder of civic initiative Welcome to Krakow. Uh, so, uh, as Krakow, we are in uh, a network uh, which supports uh, um, writers at risk. And recently, we signed uh, um, a joining to network of scholars at risk. Uh, so, I, with my friends, organize a program uh, of uh, internship for Syrian artists. Uh, so, um, um, I still think that we can act on local level. Uh, for instance, our government is, uh, is against in vitro procedures, uh, but we uh, have in vitro, in vitro program on uh, local level in few cities. Thank you. Anyone who else wants to speak? Barbara? Um. I'm fascinated that you work with Muslim women and I wonder whether you could give us some examples of the work that you do at the city level, what's possible at the city level. Um, and then a, 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 a speculative question. Um, in France, I think it's still the case, I'm not sure about this, that you can hold office at multi-levels. You can hold, you can be the mayor of a city and you can be an MP. Um, do you think that that is um, a recipe for corruption or do you think that that's a recipe for progress linking the two levels of the political system? Based on Polish context, yes, definitely. Because which, uh, telling the truth, so in reality we have uh, 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 
I'm not sure. So now it isn't possible. But you know, so uh, you should remember that uh, uh, our transformation of our system now has uh, 20, almost 30 years tradition, but it was done very, very quickly under the pressure of international institution. So uh, corruption is a huge problem, especially in uh, uh, privatization processes. So I think that uh, in the Polish context it could uh, uh, be element which can strengthen uh, the, 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 the corruption. Oh. Mm -hmm. What about the Muslim women? Uh, the Muslim women. Oh, so it's uh, very complicated. You should remember that Polish is a country against refugees without refugees. Uh, so uh, in our initiative, uh, Welcome to Krakow, uh, we have our own project in uh, uh, Athens and now in Beirut. Uh, so uh, we gather support in our local context, but our volunteers worked outside of Poland. So we were uh, present at uh, almost every border uh, during the peak of uh, um, migration crisis. Uh, um, and you know, because you know, it's a black PR about Poland. Of course, we are when we we are concentrated on <laughs> governmental issues. Situation is terrible. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, the 